some new yeah. videos. Awesome. Always grinding. Until next time, guys. Always man behind Always the computer. He makes it all happen, Mr. Schmalix. Hey, man. It's a team effort. That's the main guy right there. Yep. Now we are here today in my lovely room of death. How the heck are you guys? You already know the drill. It is Tyler Nolan. Welcome to the freaking show. So today we got a few things to do. My Mang Shan Vipers are being a pain in my butt lately. Um, they haven't really been taking frozen thought as well as I would like them to. Sometimes they eat it, sometimes they don't. So today we're going to go over to the jungle. My buddy Josh just bought the place from the other guy that used to own it. He redid the whole store. It looks amazing. So we're going to go over there and we're going to check it out. Get some uh, get some live food for these babies today. Today we're doing a live feeding also. So guys, I know a lot of people don't like live feeding. A lot of people do like live feeding. If you're one of those people that do not like live feeding, don't watch this video, okay? It's as simple as that. Don't go leave me a Karen comment down below. Don't go tell me about how this, that, and the other thing is wrong, blah, 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 blah. Cool, keep it to yourself. Don't watch this video, all right? You don't like live feeding videos? Don't watch live feeding videos. That simple, okay? With that said, that's what we're doing today. Haven't done it in a long time. Figured why not? If we have to do it, let's show you guys the Mangshan Vipers. It's been a minute. They are getting huge. You see them down there in that corner? So we're gonna go head over to the store, check it out real fast, get some rodents, head on back here, and do some feeding. I actually need to see if he's got some little frogs, maybe like some reed frogs or something, for that baby Insularis we got up top over here. So two things, we're feeding the Mangshans, feeding the Insularis because he's eating frogs. Today is Today is a, a video about feeding snakes that are a pain in my ass, all right? So that's that's what y'all are getting today. So let's go grab these things. What the hell is going on here, Hillsboro? It's two o'clock in the afternoon. Should not have traffic like this right now. Just trying to feed my animals, man. Bro, I tried to tell you, bro, they're killing it in there. Killing yeah. it, dude. It looks so yeah. good. Yeah. So good. So they're doing a, uh, I guess they're having like grand opening in September when Josh is finishing with the build out. That is just in progress, okay? They're still doing a lot more here. They're changing the name. And dude, he's doing an absolutely great job. He's killing it. September 12th. September 12th. Be there. Cages look amazing. The floor looks amazing. He repainted everything. Everything's nice and organized. And dude, killing it. Oh, yeah. Good job, it's Josh. It's completely unrecognizable in there. And thank you very much for the complimentary hoppers. We yeah. appreciate them. Tyler was getting hungry in there. Yeah, I was getting real hungry. Chick fil A wasn't really cutting it. So uh, we needed to hop up. Yeah, we needed some live food. So let's go head back to the house real fast and feed these freaking vipers. Let's do it. All right, so I lied. Before we go home, one little pit stop at Underground's farm. Oh, we got the farm, boy. Yes, it is really freaking wet out here, though. Yeah. Real wet. Nice yeah. <laughs> Too bad you gotta feed them. Right? What do you do? You feed them to the uh, vipers? Yeah, feeding uh, them to the little baby Insularis. Uh, oh, they're still not on anything else? Mm -mm. Woo. Look at all these babies they just got in. Holy <laughs> crap. So many of them. What? It'll work. We're back. Back. All right. So, let's see here. Live mice. Got them right there. Mang shans are right there. See him sitting right on the edge. Let's see if we can get a good shot of this freaking guy right here. All right, guys. So, like I said before. 
we are doing a live feeding. Okay, because that is all these guys are eating right now is live. Oh man, all right, so he bit it. He did not hold it though, which is not the greatest. So we're just gonna let him do his thing in here. And then hopefully he'll grab that mouse here in a little bit. I'm gonna throw another one in there just for good measure. Let him eat it on his own. These guys have been very finicky lately, which is the only reason why we're feeding live. Because obviously if I could feed them frozen thawed, that's ideal. But these guys have been very weird with it lately, so that's why we're throwing them live today. It's the only real reason at all. All right, Mag number two. She is, oh no, this is the boy actually. He is right under these branches right here. It's really hard to film these guys. Every time we try to do a video with these guys, you know, it's very difficult to see them just because they're so very well camouflaged and they're always hiding. So let's just introduce this mouse in there. Hopefully he bites and grabs. Nope. There we go. Bite and hold. That mouse is stunned pretty well. So I am going to also, in this cage, I'm going to throw him another live hopper in there just so they can do their thing. If they need to hunt a live prey item in order to eat, then that's really what we gotta do until they start eating frozen thawed all the time. Same thing with those little Insularis vipers. Those little Insularis vipers were pain in the ass to feed for a very long time because we had to feed the other ones uh, frogs. So once I was able to transist them off of frogs to frozen thawed, it's a lot easier to feed them because obviously I have plenty of frozen animals. Let's let these guys do their things. We're gonna turn the lights off here in just a little bit. We're finishing up this video. So we have these hourglass frogs for the baby Insularis. So we're gonna see if that'll meet at least. All right, so let's see if this little Insularis, oh my God, these freaking frogs are so jumpy. So what I'm gonna do is I got six of these hourglass frogs, glass house frogs, whatever the frick they're called. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed him a few of them, and then I'm going to freeze the other ones. So three of them I'm going to feed him right now, the other three I'm putting in the freezer. So that way, next time we have to feed them, I have something to scent the pinky mice with. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be taking day old pinkies, thawing out one of the frogs, rubbing them all together, scenting them, and then that way I could probably get him to eat some day old pinkies because he likes the scent of frogs already. Oh, he bit it. Oh, he did not hold on. There we go. Oh my god. He get there. So another instance where we're probably just gonna let this guy do his thing and eat these frogs on his own. Just because I don't really want to disturb him too much. You know, I want them to be nice and chill and eat on their own. So we're just gonna pretty, we're just gonna let them do their thing in here. And then check on them later, and I'm sure I'll come back in here later, and his stomach will be nice and full. Yeah. All right. So while we're at it, and a bunch of people in the last video was asked, they were asking about the squam, and he just shed the other day, so I need to clean his cage out, anyways. So we're just gonna go in here. We're gonna grab this shed very carefully because he's right there in the back looking at me. There we go. Get it out nice and safe. Clean the cage, Mr. Boy. Let's get him out of here too. Let's get this out of the way. Go in here. I love this little guy. He's like a little freaking dragon. Very cool snake. Let's see here. Let's get him out. I've had this snake for years, dude. Probably like six or seven years. Love these little guys. I used to have a whole bunch of them. She actually ate a couple of her last boyfriends. So the last two male squams that I had in her cage, they were red ones. I was trying to breed them together. She ended up eating both of them. I still have yet to find her a partner that she's not going to eat. It's crazy. So I've totally just given up on trying to breed her because she just keeps eating all of her boyfriends and she is a crazy little viper. I'm trying to get her in here to do some... Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, you can see she's very crazy. She's a little striker for sure. But dude, what a beautiful snake. Cool. Well, that is it, guys. Another little episode for you, feeding these little vipers. Going to underground. I'm going to go check out the jungle. Let's get her back in there and watch how she just like goes right back into her cage like this. Such a cool snake with these keel scales. Like, look at these scales on her. So freaking pretty, man.
And I got her as a wild caught, so she she still has a couple scars on her from back in the day when she was in the wild. She's been in my captivity for a long time now, though. She's doing really well. And they're peeking her head out here. Are you going to try to snap at me again? Nope. Let's get you back in here nice and safely. Hello, sweetheart. Yep. Yeah. Messing around with that camera, dude. Oh, my God. You're freaking crazy. All right, so let's close her cage up. She's all freaking irritable right now. Let's not piss my snakes off. So that's it, guys. Quick little video. Feeding some snakes. Getting it done. We're going to come back in here later on. I'm going to turn all these lights off right now. Let my snakes do their thing. Eat nice and comfortably. You know, not piss them off. I want them to eat. Those mangs are growing super fast. They have been eating great, except for the last two times where I tried to feed them frozen thaw. It just wasn't really working out that great. So hopefully they slam down these live ones. And everybody will be nice and happy. Would you relax, guys? Thank you, Jesus. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure if you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to it. Once we hit 400,000, we're bringing someone to come hang out with us. If you're scuba certified, that's going to be even better. And it might give you a bigger chance of winning, just uh, throwing that out there. You know what I mean? Because if we can go diving with you, that would be way cool. Way, way cool. Way, way cool. So stay tuned, guys. Till next time. Peace out. All right? All right? We love you. All righty.